hey, morning, Foxy. Merry Christmas. Ah, Merry Christmas to you too, Chica. Ah, I love Christmas. Such a nice time of the year. So filled with calm and whimsy and nice times. Good thing there's no one here to be loud and ruin it. I felt targeted. I'm loud and I'm ruining it! <sighs> it's Christmas! <gasps> Yippee! Wahoo! <laughs> well, whatever. At least we're all together. Yeah. Nothing could possibly ruin the relaxing, nice day of Christmas. Why do you say that? Why do you say that like you're you're wanting something to happen? I don't know what your big concern is, Bonnie. She's just stating the obvious. What the hell is that box? Uh, <laughs> Chica, you shouldn't have. I didn't put that there. What are you talking about? This box says, To Bonnie from Chica. I get it. I understand you want to give the credit to Santa Claus, but it's okay. I understand you got me this. That says balloon. Bonnie, I, I wouldn't open that. Oh boy, I hope it's a steaming pile of coal. I've been meaning to fire up the furnace. <sighs> It's like Foxy, but he's less ugly. What? Let me see that. Oh, uh, uh, that is kind of me, but less ugly. But shut up. Ah, he's alive. Dang, Chica, you didn't have to give me a dog. First of all, I didn't get this to you. And second of all, I don't think this is a dog. Who are you, little guy? My name is the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker. <sighs> okay. Just get it over with. What are you talking about? You don't have any walnuts. Uh... Bonnie, shut up. What are you doing here? Ooh, I've come looking for you. That's why my box had your name on it. Me? What do you need me for? The fellows at the North Pole are starving. We hear you are a world-famous chef and can make us a delicious, delicious treat for the holidays. What? <laughs> world-famous chef? <laughs> come on, there's like two videos. Yes, you three must come with me to the North Pole in order to bake Santa a delicious, delicious treat. A delicious treat that can't be beat? Indeed. Wait, uh, uh, is this guy serious? I mean, I believe him. It's a Christmas event! Wait, but guys, I- Now we have to go post-taste! Christmas magic spell! Whoa! We're supposed to- Whoa! We on an adventure! Wait, no, no, wait, guys, I'm, I'm not a good cook! Uh, hey guys, sorry we're up late. Yeah, you know, I need my cup of joe in the morning. Where the hell did everybody go? We're in the North Pole! Ugh. Yeah, this is just, the, just the, the living room, but, you know, we can pretend it's the North Pole. What are you talking about, Foxy? There's snowmen everywhere! Look, and Frosty's even over there! Hi, Frosty! Hey, Bonnie! How's it going? Yeah, he's so nice. Everyone, this way! To Santa's workshop! I guess I better go follow him. But guys! Hey, guy, I understand your qualm, but this guy literally just transported us to the North Pole. Unless we follow him, we literally have no other way home. He yeah, actually does bring up a really good point. Come on, buddy. Oh, what? Come on, gang, it should be just this way. Uh, uh, whoa! Da! Whoa! Uh, uh, huh? Good evening, dear. Care for a dance? Huh? Ballora? Oh, <laughs> that's a nice name. But that's not who I am. I am the Sugar Plum Fairy. You know, considering that that nutcracker looks like Foxy, this does make a lot of sense. We just want dance real fast. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, I appreciate this, but I really gotta get to Santa's workshop. Santa's workshop? What for? Uh, apparently they want me to bake him something. That sounds nice. I know, you do me. Woo! Uh, thanks. I'm just kind of nervous about it though, cause, well... Oh, come on, dear. You have nothing to be nervous about. This is the North Pole. Anything's possible here. Mm. Alright, I can't keep you waiting too long. Let's go catch up with your friends. Santa's workshop. Whoa! Santa! Santa, we're here! Oh my gosh! Mr. Nutcracker, you're back! It's a Christmas emergency! <gasps> oh my god! It's like me! But he's an elf! That's so funny! What's your name? Elf Bonnie. Oh, that does make sense. Hey, come on. Little guy, uh, what was the Christmas emergency? We told Santa he had to bulk up on his sweet treats all before his adventure, but he forgot to, and now it's an emergency. There needs to be something as sweetest and delicious as made by a delicious, delicious person. And that will give him enough fuel to give all the toys to the Christmas children. Can't he just, like, go to the first house and eat some cookies? There needs to be enough fuel to get to the first house. Do you realize how far, like, a normal house is from the North Pole? It's like, it takes a while to get there. Yeah, I guess by relative distance, that does add up. It's okay, because we have the legendary sh- Where did she go? Oh, wait, who are these guys? Oh my god. God, are you guys going to Santa's workshop? I love Santa's workshop. Oh my god, it's Foxy, but he's made entirely out of gingerbread. And he's a nerd. <laughs> Hi there, gingerbread Foxy. Yes, we were going to Santa's workshop. Really? Hi there. Whoa, you're so adorable. Aw, thank you. I'm Snow Chica. Oh, well, I'm a classic Chica. 
They never really had a surname for the rest of us. Anyways, come on, you two. We have to go to the workshop. Tag along. Oh, boy. We get to go to the workshop. Come on, Snow Chica. Let's go. Oh, man, Foxy. I'm freaking out. If Chica doesn't get back here soon, and Santa won't have a sweet twitch of sweets, and he won't be able to deliver presents to all the children. Wait, isn't it already Christmas? Shouldn't he have already done this? Maybe we are in a dream. You know, those cookies we made last night, they did taste a little funny. <laughs> hey guys, sorry for late. Oh, it's, it's you. Yeah, I couldn't have too much of an ego boost this episode, could I? Ugh! It's like Foxy, but uglier! <laughs> hey guys, sorry. I kind of had a dance with a sugar plum fairy. <laughs> Shut up. Good, you're here. Now I can give you the rundown. Santa needs some sweet, delicious treats in order to make his trips tonight. But isn't it already Christmas? That's what I said. Whatever. We need you, the legendary Chef Chica, to make us a sweet, delicious treat. Uh, well, guys, I kind of hate to tell you. Oh, I hear Santa coming now. Everyone, bow your heads. He's not Jesus, Foxy. You know, you're right. Is it going to be Freddy? I feel like it's going to be. Oh, 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 oh. I was right. I was right on the money. I was right on the money. Oh, 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 oh. You must be Chica. Oh, and you two must be her friends. I like your funny hat. Wow, it's the real Santa Claus. Despite the fact that we've met Santa before, he's been a human. Ah, 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 ah. Christmas magic has its mysterious ways, doesn't it, boy? I, I guess. Uh, Santa, it's an honor. No, it's an honor to meet you. You're a world-renowned chef, after all. And we need you to make me some sweet, delicious treats in order to, you know, save Christmas. Because we believe in you, Chica. No, can you please make me a sweet, delicious treat? Uh, well, uh, you see, uh, Santa has this kind of, kind of, kind of problem. See, that's kind of problem. What? What's your problem? I don't know how to cook. What? But you have, like, those two YouTube videos on how to cook? Santa, if you hadn't noticed, both times in those videos, I haven't made it good. Everyone just kind of either dies or thinks it's disgusting. Oh. That's what I get for getting addicted to TikTok and not having an attendance man over a minute. Dang, Santa, you must fall into that really portion, that portion of our audience that doesn't watch most of the video. We can see you. We know what you're doing. We can see that audience attention meter. Retention. Watch the whole video, please. It makes us really happy. Okay. Oh no! The Chica can't cook, then we're not gonna be able to make the sweet, delicious treat at Christmas this Dude! Wait, then what are we gonna do, Santa? Ah, 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 Snow Chica, this is the North Pole! With enough belief in Christmas magic, you can make anything happen! Wait, so then why didn't one of us just do it? Come here, Chica! Really? So supposed to- Whoa! You have been blessed with my Santa's really good, tasty, delicious powers. Now just think really hard out of a sweet, delicious treat you could bake, and you'll have the recipe instantly pop into your mind! Ah! Uh huh? Okay, something really good, delicious, and sweet as a treat. I, I've got it! I've got it! Wow, coincidence that all these ingredients have been sitting behind us. Because that's exactly what I need! I love Christmas magic. This will be an interesting watch. You know, I wonder what Carl's doing. Oh, don't you know he runs that little side gig on the holidays where he takes people on vacation. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. now go for it, Chica! Save Christmas! Uh, what I miss? You missed the Christmas magic again. No! Oh, hi everyone! Welcome to back to Cooking with Chef Chica. I did not think I was gonna be saying that again. Today we are making an Oreo peppermint cheesecake. Well, the peppermint's not actually in in the, in the cheesecake. It's, it's just it's just a look. I have a live studio audience today. Say hi, guys. Hi. I appreciate it, Bonnie. Both of you. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. You may have seen this cake on TikTok. I'm making it because I have to impress Santa Claus on I me. Mean, look at that. That's the most joyous and whimsical Santa I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get some half and half and some Oreos. You need to put about half a cup of half and half into a bowl. So try saying that five times fast. Alrighty, pour this in a bowl. And then you're gonna wanna take a spring form pan and align the entire bottom with Oreos soaked in the half and half for no more than 30 seconds. If you have gaps, you can just soak a couple crumbs in the Oreos and throw them in the cracks. Now we'll time lapse the rest of it. So, we fit as much full Oreos as we could in there. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take four to five cookies, crush them up, and add them, mix them into your remaining half and half. Once you mix that up, you're gonna wanna use the cookies and fill in the little gaps that are left in your pan. If you're left with any really, really tiny cracks, you can just crush up a few and fill it in. 
Now we can set this aside for later, and this would be the best time to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Now is the fun part. In one big bowl, you're gonna wanna mix these ingredients together. You're gonna need four eight ounce blocks of room temperature cream cheese, one half a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of heavy cream, three whole eggs, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once you got all that in a bowl, you're gonna to wanna to mix it with a hand mixer until it's all evenly incorporated. We're moving stations because the mixer doesn't go far enough. So once you've mixed your batter most of the way, you're gonna to wanna to divide it in half into a second bowl. So once you've divvied up your cheesecake batter in half, you're gonna to wanna to take one half and mix in about a half a cup of any red velvet cake mix of your choice. Make sure you gradually mix this in rather than doing all of it at once. Also, if you're looking for a really poppy red color, you're gonna to wanna to use red food dye. Uh, this is not enough red velvet cake mix to make it pure red. What we're doing to cook our cheesecake is a water bath method, which means you need to take a slightly larger pan, something like a frying pan, as long as it's oven safe, and you need to get about uh, a little bit of boiling water that you're gonna put around this pan. The next thing you're going to wanna do is cover this pan in tin foil. Not completely, mind you, just about three layers in order to, you know, cover it up and not over the top. Dang, a water bath? We're giving water baths now? These are some complicated terms. I got lost like 20 minutes ago. Also, as I say for this step, you're definitely going to want adults help with this because this is very dangerous. We are dealing with boiling water. Be careful, please. Thank you. Mwah. It would be a good idea if your batter is too thick to throw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to make it runnier so it's easier to pour and allows you to make the little cool peppermint pattern. So you're gonna wanna slowly pour a little bit of your mixture into the pan, uh, each alternating each color until you're out of batter for both. So once we're done here, uh, obviously it doesn't look quite as visually pretty on the top, but shut up. It looks nice when we cut into it, okay? We're gonna put this into our roasting chair. Set on nice, be very careful. Whoa! Guys, for a very delicate process, I grew a human body. This is so strange. <laughs> So you're gonna wanna set your cheesecake carefully into the oven, pulling the oven rack out to get more room. And then uh, you're gonna wanna pour the boiling water about halfway up around the cheesecake. Uh, initially I was gonna try and use the pan, but then I opted to use a measuring cup because it's safer. And then you just gotta slide that bad boy in very safely and carefully. So when your cheesecake is finished, uh, you're gonna wanna do a little bit of a jiggle chest to make sure it's uh, set well. Uh, it needs to wobble slightly, but not be super ripply or runny. Once it's done, you're gonna wanna turn off your oven and leave the oven door open slightly for about an hour to allow the cool air to reintroduce slowly and allow it to reach room temperature slowly because if not, your cake will end up uh, a little, little weird and wacky. Yummy food, yay. Oh wow, that cheesecake looks delicious. So after it's done cooling for that hour, you just pull it out of the oven and once it's completely cool to the touch, you take her off the tin foil and take it out of the little pan. And there we are, a delicious marble uh, red velvet cheesecake. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, it looks so yummy, delicious. Mm. Wait, Santa, you can't eat it yet. Huh, why not? Well, because first we gotta, deck, we gotta let it chill overnight, then we gotta decorate it. We can put on like whipped cream and Oreos and we can put on some chocolate. Okay, that sounds all very yummy. And I love that you showed me footage of you doing that in your brain, but uh, I'm too lazy, I'm gonna eat it now. Uh, oh, 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 that was so delicious and yummy. Oh. Wow, Chica, you did it. All it took was the power of Christmas magic, and you made something actually edible. It's a Christmas miracle! Oh, okay, I can deliver presents to all the children now. You guys can go home. What? Oh, 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 oh. Thank you guys for saving Christmas. Yeah. Wow, that was a truly magical experience. Where have you guys been all day? Oh, hey, Freddy. Freddy was so cool. We went to the North Pole, and then we baked a delicious, delicious treat for Santa Claus, and now he's able to deliver all the presents to the creatures of the world. Huh. Wait a minute. 
guys. What? Did you eat the cookies I made last night? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, why? I put marijuana in those cookies. <laughs> Freddy. Oh, you silly rascal, you. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. That's our Christmas lesson. Wait, but then how are we visibly gone for you guys? I lied!